So my name is Yan Su. I'm a graduate student uh, at in Vladimir Litvak's lab at UMass Medical School. I grew up in China. Uh, I spent most of my childhood here before I moved here for university. I became first interested in science. It was really um, middle school and chemistry class. So it was really cool to actually visualize a chemical reaction to happen, to see the color changes, to see it produce some bubbles. So it's really visualizing. The reason that I picked UMass Medical School was because they have a strong uh, neuroscience and also they have a very strong immunology program too. This is really what drives me to um, come to UMass. So I'm hoping to de develop some um, so understanding the, uh, the mechanism, of course, underlining autism or red syndrome, and hopefully to find some therapeutic interventions for them. To give you examples, last year we published an immunity paper, and we found that microglia, which is like a brain resonant macrophages, can produce a toxic factor and TNF alpha, namely. Um, so in the disease mouse model, in a disease condition, so they can amplify the disease, make the disease go worse. My favorite thing is um, I can do something completely creative. So. I'm, so it's amazing that so every day I come here, I do something completely different um, that nobody have ever done ever. It's very cool for me just to come out with um, hypothesis and you have to come with a clever way to try to test your hypothesis and sometimes you're wrong and sometimes you're right. I think it's amazing to ask like how this works and uh, so I think this is what drives most scientists is to put all the puzzles together. So if I would advise for um, a younger people who are interested in science, uh, it's really, I think it should be take a charge and the lead in the project. I mean, if a person's interested in science, um, it can really get into science anywhere. It can happen in the classroom. It can even happen at your own house.